Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and this match is going to be between North Chile and G once again. This time versus Kshatriya, who I haven't actually casted in a while, but who has requested in the past to be casted. I, like, just so you know, in case also, in case anyone's kind of concerned about the fact that I sometimes cast random people, I do actually respect when people ask me, please don't cast me, like, I get it, it's kind of a neat idea, but I'd rather not be on the show. Totally respect that. Completely understand. I have a list. I've written down everyone who has asked me that. There's only been a couple people, but I've written them down so I'd make sure I know, just in case, won't forget. Kshatriya's on the opposite list. To quote, really wants to be cast list. Kshatriya loves being on stream. I appreciate that, Kshatriya. It's really nice to have that enthusiasm. And today we're going to have a match, for, or right now we're going to have a match for them. So, let's begin Iced Coffee, a map which is basically all Amphib and Gunship. I mean, this map was made before either factory was really considered super viable. I mean, Gunship makes more sense because it's smaller, more isolated platforms. Not super isolated, there is a path along the back, but still relatively isolated. Amphib, however, was not that powerful at the time. This is one of the stronger maps for Amphib when it first came out. Then the Sea Rework happened. Kshatriya and North Chilean G both going relatively aggressive. The North Chilean G is going more... Actually, North Chilean G going much more aggressive. A couple ducks right off the bat. Kshatriya went for an early conch... Ooh, ninja expansion again. North... Sorry, this is Kshatriya. North Chilean G was going for that last game. This game, Kshatriya is doing it. And North Chilean G has not gotten any chance to even get close to scouting it. Don't appear to have the intention to do so. And one more shot would do it. It looks like Kshatriya's duck's not going to do too well here. North Chilean G being very aggressive. What does Kshatriya have right now? Still getting more ducks, but North Chilean G... They've gotten their own conch now. Okay, so just putting the pressure on, making Kshatriya just make sure they're honest. Although, really, they're not. Kshatriya's being not very honest at all. But North Chilean G, are they going to find that? They are going off to the... Oh, they were briefly going off to the eastern side. They had gone from there down here. I don't know if they're even thinking of scouting that out. And it looks like they're not even thinking of taking it. They're actually going to be taking the more typical eastern expansions. So this is going relatively standard. Both players relatively even economically. Kshatra needing far more energy, though. North Chilean G having gone for the wind farms, which is a really good idea on this map. I mean, it is 0.3 to 2.5, but for the most part, it tends to work. Solar Collector is not terrible, but it's... Like, they're great to have a stable economy, but right as you're starting out, if you can build solar collectors, it's a good idea. Sorry, if you can build wind generators and they work, it's usually a good idea. It's usually more a question of defensibility, but it looks like Kshatra is worried about being attacked. I mean, they might be worried about stability, but I'm fairly certain they're worried about being attacked. Those early ducks came in. They sh they do know whether or not the ducks are coming around the sun. Oops, sorry. Kshatra here. Kshatra is the one we're looking at, and they should know whether or not ducks come around the side. Their radar... Yeah, it doesn't have a shadow for that. So they should be fine, but still, it is kind of scary. There is a lot of pressure. And an archer coming in. We have not seen an archer used by Amphib bots in a long time. The typical meta has been just duck. Duck and scallop. And boy, archers are rarely used. I'm curious to see what will happen, but archers, they're not bad anti-duck forces. But typically, they'll just use a scallop instead. Like, that's the typical thing to do. Archers are generally not considered the best unit just for their unpredictability. Because they do push themselves around when they're firing their water cannons. As they, Actually, well, they push everything around. If they're not firmly grounded, they push themselves around. And, yeah, it's a little weird, but they do, as you can see, a pretty good job against ducks. And Kshatri going for archers as well. Did something change about archers that I didn't see in the change logs? Because... This is unusual. Either that or they're just experimenting, because that that's not something you see very often. Boys, however, you do see a lot, so that's more typical. More archers come from Kshatra. Kshatra really going heavy on the archers. They're just going, well, my opponent's gone ducks, I'll go archers, and North Chilean G going boys in... No, never mind, gone for grizzly. Skipping the boys entirely. And going for heavy defense as well. So North Chilean G pretty much secured their north side. Kshatra much less secure on their south side. North Chilean G is basically whatever opening they like. Taking an eastern opening. Three ducks and a scallop on the eastern side. Five ducks and an archer on the western side. Which is where North Chilean G is more focused. Kshatra, however, taking 
Taking the plus 3.5 expansion, taking the more valuable center expansion. And... Well, found the ninja expansion. Won't live to tail the tail. Those ducks are all gonna die. The scalp has not retreated, but it's way too slow for it to matter. And the archer is going to demonstrate why typically they aren't used. Because other than beating ducks, they don't do a huge amount. Another Kshatcher's commander in a bit of a tight spot. These ducks shouldn't be the biggest problem. But we'll see. You know, with the machine gun, that's not terrible. However, ducks... I think this many ducks won't kill the commander. That's, what, 800 damage? 1,000 damage? Yeah, it would take two shots to kill the commander. Some machine gun t shots would be able to get out. Now, are we going to see a change? Ducks coming out. Wrong choice. That's a scallop. That's pretty much designed to kill ducks. It's, it's a riot unit. That's what it does. And other than that, I suppose... I mean, well, I don't know why Kshetri isn't going boys right now. They really should be going for boys. Hmm. And once again, the archer not doing quite enough. I think these this number of ducks should... Okay, yeah, it does do the trick. But that was a very weakened scallop. Thankfully for Kshetri, that's all in their territory. Unfortunately, they do not have the energy to even use the current metal they have, let alone reclaim. And they've also, I mean, we did see an archer attack that plus 3.5. But the plus 3.5 to the eastern side has not been taken. North Chilean G not taking either so far. Chatra trying to retake the one to the west, which will work out nicely. And a counterattack to the northeast coming in. North Chilean G responding to that. They are secure in that for... The bar with player names and eco? I, I don't know what you're talking about. The, the bar with player names and economy is right here. Rar, are you, are you watching the same stream I am? Because the, the the spectator panels are right here. Anyway, please elaborate, because I'm not sure what you're talking about, since I see them clearly, and thus they should be filmed, and thus they should be streamed. And I don't want anything to be going wrong here. Back to the game, though. Kshatra is going to be... Ooh, not quite a surprise, I don't think. Well, how can you not... Okay, Rar... Please elaborate or take a screenshot or something, because I haven't done anything. I don't know why we would disappear. I'll check the footage afterwards. And that didn't quite work out, unfortunately, for Kshatra. North Chilean G able to defend. Got eight ducks worth of corpses, though three of them were their own, but still. Well inside North Chilean G's territory. I mean, Kshatra did come over the weak side, too. If they had come in, hit this... I mean, these expansion areas would have been dead. More ducks coming in. Boys as well. Okay, there we go. That'll get rid of... I mean, Scallop's kind of gone, and Grizzly is our main concern at the moment. Bit of a problem, unfortunately, for Kshatra right now. They have gotten the plus 3.5 to the western side of the map. They are going to be probably losing their army over in the center. North Chilean G just going ham with those defenders. I'm a bit surprised we aren't... Actually, I guess there isn't much for our amphibious artillery. Boys are kind of the best thing they have. And I guess Grizzly. Yeah, there isn't much in the way of artillery for Amphibs. That's actually a big roll hole. Now, is Kshatra going to be attacking the eastern side? Because I kind of doubt it, but maybe. North Chilean G would be prepared, though. They do have a couple archers over to that eastern little expansion. And yes, the attack is... Well, it's not necessarily happening. Looks like Kshatra is just posturing for territory. Trying to get that eastern side as well. I mean, they do have the plus 3.5 to the western side. They do have an economic advantage. Very slight. And actually hampered by a lack of energy. Seriously, that's a tiny little fix that would give them quite a bit more build power, actually. Probably be two or three more boys at this point. Although, that being said, this one grizzly, that's a lot of money. That's 2,000 metal being put into one unit. But at this... I mean, the thing is, North Chilean G has spent a lot on defenders... How much are they spent on defenders right now? They spent roughly 1,400... Yeah, it's like... I don't know, roughly 2,000 on defenders, 2,000 on a grizzly. Kshatra, this isn't even 2,000 metal worth of boys. They could get even more than that, and that would probably be more efficient and get rid of the defenders. I feel like North Chilean G is just going to get type countered here because they have spent a lot of money on defenders. They've really committed to that, and I think Kshatra is going to have the counter. Unfortunately for Kshatra, there's also been a commitment to archers, and ducks just do not work against archers. They simply melt. K 
cannot stand the high pressure water. And this is where the boys will shine. And I mean, the thing is, the Grizzly might be a bit of a problem. The Defenders, as we can clearly see, are most certainly not a problem. Neither is the Archer. One boy dying every shot. This is not good for North Chilean G. And at this point, economy is actually kind of in North Chilean G's favor, but they're going to be losing that Grizzly pretty soon. I mean, repairs coming in. Good plan, but it's still tough. One more boy right now. There we go. That's another boy down. But that's a Grizzly about to go down, too. Two, there we go. That Grizzly's down. Kshatra in a commanding position right now. I mean, they have the unit counter to get rid of this. North Chilean G coming in with the Ducks to help out to get rid of the boys. Good positioning on that. But honestly, the boys have kind of done the job. And are they going to hit the commander too? That'd be bonus. And yeah, there goes the commander as well. Taking out the ducks that were there to counter the boys. Complete bonus. I mean, complete wreck. But honestly, Shatter's commander could just come in here, take this entire area for themselves. It'd be a bit risky. But that... That would be it. Okay, Rar pointing out that they had just scrolled down. They weren't looking at the entire player. That would explain the problem. Anyway, Kshatra, I'd say they're in a commanding position. They just need more energy to really solidify this lead. Because this entire... This is practically no man's land. 2,000 metal, basically in no man's land. Kshatra about to take it. North Chilean G very focused on the eastern side. Kshatra, good distraction play. I mean, if Kshatra keeps North Chilean G occupied on the eastern side... And then just takes the western side. It looks like just with defenders, because why not? There's actually nothing much here. But Kshatra playing it safe. Really doesn't want to risk too much. And another Grizzly coming up, which I guess justifies that lack of risk. And more boys coming in. This is working out beautifully. Even with Ducks potentially coming in. I mean, another Grizzly. I don't get the Grizzly. North Chilean G would have been better served with an army of Ducks. Given how much Kshatra is committed to the boys... Grizzly is pretty much countered by boys, which of course means there's not much to do. Now, two boys, no. Six or seven boys? We just saw the answer to that is very much so, yes. Kshatra, however, not reclaiming this. I guess they figure, oh, this is North Chilean G's territory. I'll leave it alone. But there is nothing here. There's a Grizzly potentially threatening, but now that the position is known, or should be known. Yeah, the position is... Well, if it's not known, it will be found out very soon. The radar dot can be seen. But that's the thing, is this reclaim doesn't have to go to North Chilean G. Shatra could totally take it. But I don't think Shatra realizes just how open that is. Which is unfortunate, because they really should. I mean, they, they do know. There's basically nothing. I guess they're worried the commander would get killed by Grizzly. That's the only thing I can think of. A couple conscious sent over there, of which there are... None. No, one. It's like the one conch... This is the one conch that Kshatriya has. That's it. That's not really going to do it. So yeah, a couple more conches would be nice. A little surprised they aren't making that to reclaim this. I mean, conches to reclaim are totally risk-free. They die, no big deal. They'd probably gotten their weight, or their cost rather, in reclaim by the time they died. Especially given how low threat this area is. And Kshatriya throws in the towel, realizing there's not much they can do against the Nats getting rid of their... Was that even the Grizzly? That was the Grizzly. Nat stunning it out, which would have been torn apart by defenders, torn apart by boys, torn apart by whatever was nearby. Like, that Grizzly was... The first one was fine. I mean, Kshatra was forced to respond to that, push them into boys. At that point, boys are countered basically by ducks. Not totally. It's a numbers game at that point. It's not a very clean counter. But yeah, the ducks work well enough in like by cost. You need to have a lot of ducks, though. If you have a lot of ducks, the boys have no problem. Or, sorry, the boys are no problem. If you build up another grizzly, the boys have no problem. And they get rid of the grizzly pretty quickly. But yeah, that was... I mean, kind of typical escalation. You kind of think, well, I would want to escalate, right? I'd want to have stuff that would give me what I'd need later on, right? And the answer is... Yes. You kind of would. I mean, I totally understand that makes sense but at the same time you got to consider that like, 0k is not a game of pure escalation escalation does happen and as you get more resources you generally do want to get higher weight units and more firepower and because you can punch through lines that way it's really good for that kshatria had no line though they were just starting to build one north chilean g had a line kshatria was fairly open 
So a line puncher like a grizzly didn't help as much as it would have if they had more closed off lines. Not to mention, like I said, the counter had already been played, and you gotta consider the fact that if the unit has your if the opponent has your counter, you may not want to go for the escalated unit. And that's how that went. So one more match will be upcoming. It'll be Marquis and North Chilean G on Red Comet. That'll be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.